This part of the lesson explains what happens when someone cancels an input box and how you can write code to handle that. Let's start by opening up the file that I've downloaded and extracted and then click the enable content button to allow any existing code to run. We can then open the Visual Basic Editor to have a look at the code we've created so far. So nothing too complicated, it's very similar to the example we used in the previous part of this lesson. We display an input box asking the user to enter their name and then display that value back to them in the form of a message box. Let's run the subroutine just to check that it works first of all. If I click into the subroutine and run it, let's enter a name, I'll go for Wise Owl, and if I click OK, everything should work as intended. I concatenate the word hello to the text that I've entered into the input box and see a sensible message. Now let's see what happens if we click cancel instead. I'll run the subroutine again, and again I can enter a value into the input box. But now if I click cancel, alternatively if I close down the input box by clicking the cross in the top right hand corner, the input box is going to return an empty string. This will be concatenated with the word hello, and in this case we just end up with the word hello on the message box, which for this particular example isn't that big a deal. In other code though, you might be relying on the value that your user has entered, and if they've cancelled the input box, you'll never have access to that information, so it could cause problems with other more complex systems. One simple way to handle this in your code is to check if the value of the variable you've used to capture the input box result contains an empty string. So before we attempt to show our final message, we can write a basic if statement that says if your name equals an empty string then. I'll do two things. I'll first of all show a message box telling the user that they didn't enter a name, so you didn't enter a name. We can maybe show a VB critical symbol on the message as well to indicate that it's a serious problem. We then want to exit from this subroutine, or in this case I want to exit from this subroutine, before I close the if statement with an end if. We can now test that the system works by running the subroutine again, and if we enter a name and then click cancel, we'll be informed this time that we didn't enter a name. I feel it needs some kind of insult at the end of that phrase as well, but I'll leave it as it is for now. We should check that it works when we don't click cancel, if I enter a name again. This time we should see if I click OK, the original sensible message.